Hey, what up, everybody? It's your boy T Man Beats, and today I'm gonna be showing y'all my home studio. So, before we get into it, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go. So the first thing we're gonna get into is the monitors. I have two pairs of monitors. I have the Rokinon, uh, Rokinon, what the fuck am I talking about? I have KRK8. I don't know if you can see that right there. And then I have the Alesis Monitor 1s, uh, Mark 2s. I've been having the Alesis monitors for about 10 years. The KRKs I got around this time last year. Um, having four sets of monitors definitely makes the, the mixing a lot easier. The KRKs are active monitors, which means they have their own power. And then the Alesis monitors are passive, which means they need an amp to power them. So I have my Alesis RA100 amp right here that powers both of the monitors. All the monitors are ran to my Focusrite 18i20. I can see that. And excuse all the dust and stuff like that. But I, this is definitely my, uh, my favorite interface. I had a Scarlett 2i2, but because I got this big ass desk, I decided to go with all rack mount gear. So under the audio interface, I have a power strip, a rack mountable power strip that I just got off Amazon. And then all the links to all this stuff will definitely be in the in the description. So yeah, I got this uh, power strip rack mountable. Uh, I really like this. I actually have two of them. I have one on the left side and then I have another one on the right side. But this one, all the outlets are in the back. But I like this one on this side because when I have my mic set up over here, it's easier for artists to, to charge their phones. I have like super long USB cables, so it'll reach all the way over here to where the mic is normally at. Now, the mic that I have, I have the Audio Technica 2020. I've had this mic for about six years. I'd be thinking about upgrading, but I don't know. It's, it hasn't failed me yet, so I'm gonna I'm keep rocking with it. And then I have the Chaotica eyeball surrounding it. I think everybody should get a Chaotica eyeball. I'm not even gonna lie to you. That, it makes everything so much easier when recording. You don't gotta worry about um, reflect, reflections bouncing off. You don't gotta worry about none of that stuff. So over here, I have the Universal Control X-Touch 1. This, excuse all the dust, man. I don't, I don't ever be dusting and stuff like that, but the X-Touch 1 makes my workflow way faster. So I got a video last year talking about how it, it doesn't really speed up my, my mixing process, and I, that's a lie. Like, well, I'm not gonna say the mixing process, it definitely speeds up the workflow of recording by being able to, to stop, record, play, uh, mute certain channels. This uh, slider right here is definitely active. You can see it moving right here. So it definitely makes the, the, the workflow of just recording a lot uh, faster. And then I still have my MPK 49. I've had this mic for, or I've had this uh, MIDI controller for, I want to say about eight years. When I was making beats heavily, I really stopped making beats. But this is a good, uh, a good MIDI controller for for just beats. The headphones that I have, I have two pair of. Audio Technica N20 X's. I, I rock with these, man. I actually got three pair because I thought that uh, one of them was dying, but it was definitely this little piece right here that was messed up. So I have like 10 of these now. But yeah, these headphones, definitely my favorite. The 
monitor the computer screen the computer monitor I don't know where I got this from I've had this for like 10 years though and it works and then up top I have a TLC 50 inch Roku TV yeah I, I don't got no complaints with this uh, with this TV right here and then I have these orbs I got these orbs from Walmart for like I want to say ten dollars a piece and you can stroll it with your phone and then I have this LED strip it was fifteen dollars from Walmart uh, all the lights the orbs and this strip light are all with the same company so I only use one one app to control all of it and I bought this foam from Amazon I don't remember how much it was but it it wasn't too expensive maybe like eighty dollars for this much and I still got like 20 pieces left but because I only record in this this corner right here this is all I all I need the light that I'm using for this video is a Sakoni RGB this X60 RGB definitely a good light with a newer softbox and a grid and then I'm powering it by a V-mount battery with a little adapter so if y'all need, if y'all looking for YouTube lights, this right here is, is definitely um, a for sure good one. Everything, this whole setup right here for the lighting is pretty, probably cost like two, not like $300, 350 for, for one light with the, with the battery, the softbox, the light stand. I got heavy duty light stands. Um, yeah, but this is this is my setup. It's, it's pretty simple. Uh, I think I spent in total on this maybe about uh, eh, maybe like twelve hundred. But I didn't buy it all up front. Like every like every three months, I take like two three hundred dollars and and buy little pieces. But yeah, this is this is my setup right here. Definitely love this setup. Whenever people come into the studio, it's that they're in all that. This is all in in my house upstairs. I have a table over here where people can come, roll up, smoke, do whatever. This right here is my my gimbal that I use for my music videos. And then I got a mini fridge uh, off Amazon for like three hundred dollars back here. Decent, decent little mini fridge. I normally keep uh, waters in there, but I definitely got to restock. But yeah, this is this is my setup. Couch. I got another desk over here. You probably not gonna ever see. It's too dark. Yeah, this is definitely a little vibe. I got these blackout curtains from Walmart. Uh, see, it's kind of. It's not too bright outside, but I'll come in here at like two o'clock in the afternoon. It's still pitch pitch black. It definitely sets a sets a mood in here. But yeah, that's it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.